Turning now to the Biden presidency, President Joe Biden is expected to unveil today a series of executive actions aimed at reducing gun violence. This allows a rash of deadly, this after a rash of deadly shootings across the country. CBS 4's Naomi Rockham explains. Most of President Biden's actions tackle relatively minor issues, like a revision of the federal government's definition of firearm. No one is talking about overturning or changing the Second Amendment. Another targets so-called ghost guns, weapons assembled from kits that have no serial numbers. The president will reportedly order the Justice Department to try to limit their availability. Recent mass shootings in Georgia and Colorado have renewed calls for action by advocacy groups. Last month, President Biden called on Congress to restore the federal assault weapon ban that expired in 2004. It was law for the longest time, and it brought down these mass killings. Senate Democrats are promising action, but it's unclear if any Republicans will join them. This Senate will be different. The Senate is going to debate and address the epidemic of gun violence in this country. I'm certainly open to the discussion. What I'm not attracted to is something that doesn't work. President Biden is expected to nominate David Chipman to head the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Chipman is a former ATF agent who has long been an advocate of stronger gun control laws. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.